Hello, preschool. I have our friend, Mr. Bear here, and he would like to talk about some shapes today. And so, since our friend the triangle, it always seems like the triangle looks the most like a mountain, Mr. Bear likes to start with the triangle because he likes to go, the bear went over the mountain, but after he gets over there, he's going to see something that looks a lot like it. So are you ready to get started? Here he is. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he could see. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain. The bear went over the mountain to see what he could see. And he saw a triangle because the triangle does look a lot like a mountain. It has how many sides? One, two, three. Three sides make a triangle. So just like a tricycle has one, two, three wheels, or a triceratops has one, two, three horns, but a triceratops does. That helps us learn that tri reminds us of the number three. One, two, three. So the bear went over the triangle. The bear went over the triangle. The bear went over the triangle to see what he could see. And when he got there, do you know what he saw? He saw something with four sides. Do you want to take a guess what has four sides? That's a very good guess. He saw a rectangle. A rectangle does have four sides. One, two, three, four. A rectangle really wanted to be a square, but he could not decide. Did I want long lines? or short lines? Long, short. I think I'll have both. So he's got long, short, long, short, which makes him a rectangle. Good job. And here's our bear. The bear went over the rectangle. The bear went over the rectangle. The bear went over the rectangle to see what he could see. And when he got there, he didn't see a rectangle any longer. He saw an oval. There's our oval. Now, oval was really a circle till somebody came along and sat on him. And now he's squished down. So he's not a perfect circle, is he? No, he's oval because he's kind of squished down, isn't he? This is our friend, the oval. The bear went over the oval. The bear went over the oval. The bear went over the oval to see what he could see. Oh, what did he see? The oval. And then he saw a... What is this? Ah, oh, good job. You guys are so great at this. This is a star. The bear went over the star. The bear went over the star. The bear went over the star to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he could see. The bear went over the star. The bear went over the star. The bear went over the star to see what he could see. And when he got there, it was getting a little late at night, and he thought, maybe I should, oh, take a rest. And when he rested, he looked up in the sky and saw a crescent. That's right. It does kind of look like a moon, doesn't it? A crescent moon. But the shape is a crescent. We can put it this way. It's still a crescent. If it's this way, it's still a crescent. If we go all the way this way, 
it's still a crescent. And this way, you're right, it's still a crescent. So when the bear woke up in the morning, the bear went over the crescent, the bear went over the crescent, the bear went over the crescent to see what he could see. And when he got there, he saw something bright and shining up in the sky and it was the sun and the sun is shaped like a, you're right, a circle. The bear went over the circle, the bear went over the circle, the bear went over the circle to see what he could see. And after he went over the circle, do you know what he saw? Something even more crazy. He saw a, you're right, a trapezoid. Now a trapezoid has how many sides? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's the right answer. One, two, three, four. The trapezoid does have four sides. Kind of like the rectangle, he couldn't really decide what size he wanted his lines to be. Now the square, he had it figured out. The square has all four sides the same. And then the rectangle said, hmm, long, short, long, short, but trapezoid, trapezoid just could not decide what he wanted for his sides. So he made a short, medium, and long, and then to hook them back together, he needed another medium. So he's got four sides, but they are all different lengths. So this is a trapezoid. Good job. And here we have our bear went over the trapezoid, the bear went over the trapezoid, the bear went over the trapezoid to see what he could see. And when he got there, it was night again. He lay down to take another rest. He looked up in the sky and he saw a rhombus. Oh, Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. Up above the world so high, like a rhombus in the sky. Twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. The stars were shining like diamonds or a rhombus. Now, if I go this way, is it a diamond? And if I go this way, is it a rhombus? No, sillies, it's always a diamond and it's always a rhombus. It's just like, I am a teacher, but I'm also a mom. I can be the same me but have two different names. A rhombus and a diamond are always the same. Whether he's this way, or this way, or this way, or this way, a rhombus is always a rhombus. And so, the bear went over the rhombus, the bear went over the rhombus, the bear went over the rhombus to see what he could see. And when he got there, he had to stop! Stop, bear! You can't go any further because this shape looks like a stop sign. But his actual name is a, an octagon. That's right, octagon. Hmm, I'm thinking about something that has a lot of arms that sounds my ear hears that oct sound again. You ever think of something in the ocean? An octopus! Good job! And if you remember, an octopus has how many legs? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Octopus with eight legs will help us to remember that an octagon. Did you hear how it starts the same? Octopus. Octagon. So that must mean it has how many sides? You're right. Good counting. Let's do it. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight sides. Eight sides for an octagon. So, the bear went over the octagon. The bear went over the octagon. The bear went over the octagon to see what he could see. And when he got there, he was a little confused. And I don't blame him because he saw something that made him think of the octagon. Hmm, but I need to count these sides. Smart idea, bear. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sides, not eight sides. Six sides. That means this is a, you're right, good job, a hexagon. So the bear went over the hexagon, the bear went over the hexagon, the bear went over the hexagon to see what he could see. Good job, and when he got there, he saw the square. We talked about Mr. Square earlier. Mr. Square was very wise. He decided, I want all my sides to be exactly the same. So he's got four sides. One, two, three, four. But they are all the very, very same size. Very smart square. Very smart. Nice. So the bear went over the square. The bear went over the square. The bear went over the square to see what he could see. To see what he could see. To see what he could see. The bear went over the square. The bear went over the square. The bear went over the square to see what he could see. And when he got there, he saw this. What is this? You're right. It is a heart. And Bear said, I love you all. Thank you for sharing your shapes with me. And my heart goes out to all of you. And then I'm going to go home. So the bear went over the heart, the bear went over the heart, the bear went over the heart, and then he went on home. Good night, bear. Good night, preschool. I miss you. And I heart you too. Have a great day and study those shapes. See where you can find them outside or even in your home. And then you can always say, Mom, Dad, brothers, sisters, I heart you. Goodbye, preschool.